Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Walmart here, wanted to check out some of the produce. They do have some kind of uh, free health screening thing going on here, so there's a long line kind of wrapped around. I'm not really sure what it is, uh, but we're going to check out some of the produce here that we can. Uh, they do have the bagged gala apples, three pounds for four dollars and fifty-two cents. That's more expensive than Kroger. Um, I'll tell you, you guys have been saying it. Four dollars and twelve cents for three-pound bag of uh, Granny Smith apples, which is a little cheaper. Honey Crisp apples, seven dollars and forty-eight cents. One penny cheaper than Kroger. Three-pound bag of the organic market side apples here six dollars and 18 cents now we saw these for 5.99 at meyer so a little little more expensive than even meyer that's crazy if you want to buy single apples they do have the red delicious dollar 68 a pound uh that's a penny cheaper than a lot of places right now i feel like walmart does this they go around and see what the prices are everywhere and then they'll go a penny cheaper just so they look like heroes they do have their watermelons here. These are the seedless ones for $5.68. We've been seeing them for $4.99 pretty much everywhere. One decent price is peaches, $1.98 a pound here at Walmart. They are back up to $2.49 a pound at Kroger and $2.99 a pound at Meyer. So a little bit of a better deal on the peaches. One ridiculously crazy price are the two pounds of the kiwi fruit. $8.98 here for two pounds. That's uh, pretty nuts. So they only have one bag here, but $4.78 for the three pound uh, mandarins. We saw the cuties for $4.49 at Kroger and $4.99 at Meyer. Um, those were on sale though. They could be back up, but $4.78 at Walmart. Uh, you know, you guys have been saying that Walmart's prices have been getting to where it's, it's hard to shop at Walmart because, you know, they used to have great deals. Now it's getting more expensive than a lot of grocery stores around here. This kind of stuff is just getting ridiculous, guys. Look at this. $1.78 for your average bag of classic iceberg lettuce. This this is up from $1.48. It was $1.38 for a while. Last year, these were $0.98 cents a bag. $0.98 cents a bag. $1.78 now. That's ridiculous. They do have the organic del monte bananas and they are 62 cents a pound so a little cheaper than other organic bananas uh, that we've seen most places are still 69 cents a pound i'm not gonna film them maybe we'll hear some of them in the background but there's literally two ladies fighting in the aisle across from me here <laughs> oh fun fun saturday mornings at walmart uh let's see yep one of the ones we were talking about the other day garlic bread they do have a lot of their great value garlic bread we're not a fan uh we've tried it the texas toast is what pretty much everybody likes look at that price though 368 that is up from 298 um not that long ago and i haven't seen it i don't know if it went from 298 to 368 we haven't been checking on it as much um but as you can see it's very low so I wanted to point out the Red Baron pizzas did go up in price, as we notice here. They were $3.98, now they're $4.48. Another 50 cent increase. Been getting some comments on Red Baron pizzas going up in price, so I wanted to check this out. Something pretty funny here. We saw that the two pound things of the Tyson chicken nuggets were $7 even. Now they're $6.98, so two cents cheaper. So they don't have many, but the smaller portion sizes of the CPAC are $7.12. I don't know if they're not... Oh, okay, here they are. Yeah, they've got more up here. $7.12. That is up from $6.98. It's been $7.12 for a little while, though. We saw they were that price the last time we were here. Uh, the big thing of Butterfly Shrimp, $10.34. Now, we've been seeing this for $11.99 in a lot of stores, so $10.34, that's a pretty good price. So we've gotten a few comments over the last couple of weeks that Walmart has been very low on vegetables frozen vegetables especially their great value we saw that this was an issue months ago uh, where they would run out of a lot of stuff and it was very hard for them to get it back in i do see some mixed vegetables over here those are still 84 cents yeah good to see that they are packed with some of the usuals here your peas uh, mixed vegetables 84 cents they're a dollar at kroger and these are 12 ounces so same as kroger 12 ounces 
yeah so it looks like they got plenty of corn got some green beans so yeah okay so more of the the more expensive ones looks like they're out of looks like these are the ones they're able to get in look at this basically four ears of corn cut in pieces six dollars and 48 cents six dollars that's that's crazy I guess because you know they had to cut the corn bag it freeze it that's an extra price you can do that yourself and save a fortune and getting the fresh corn always get fresh always get the fresh corn it's always going to taste better some of the different vegetarian options here vegetizers uh walmart does have a good amount of this kind of stuff they got a lot of the morning star farms products that we get a lot of comments on uh, this is probably the most of the Morning Star stuff that I've seen anywhere. Maybe Target. Target's pretty, uh, pretty big on this stuff too. And and we are seeing Kroger get in a lot more of this kind of stuff too. So just keep your eyes out for it. Um, yeah, lots of different options. This just looks like mostly breakfast. They have some chicken or garden vegetable that looks like chicken. They're also getting some different brands in here. I've heard somebody comment about the Gardein. I had never seen it. And uh, they do have it here at Walmart. Uh, turkey cutlets, that's probably not turkey. Um, <laughs> ultimate plant-based chicken nuggets. So, ultimate plant-based nuggets. Why don't they just call it that? I don't understand. They do have some different impossible options. Uh, impossible sausage made from plants. And some of the meatballs here. When we were talking about olives the other day, somebody mentioned Mazetta. I didn't even know where to find these. Just came across them here. They do have them here at uh, Walmart. Uh, the super colossal Spanish queen olives, uh, $6.17. I've never tried this brand, but I gotta say, I love these. These are huge. I like the big ones. So I noticed that the 10 pound tube of the 8020 did go up a dollar and some change. It was $33.72, now it's $34.92. That went up. What didn't go up is the $73.27. That is still $30.24. So if you're wanting the meat out of the tube, right now it is $5.23 for one pound. Um, you know, I gotta say, this still doesn't look as good as Aldi or Meyer or Kroger. Like, I don't know, it just does not look the same. So check out these Johnsonville brats here. They actually have a deal, $5.11. I guess these are like some kind of clearance stickers. We saw a couple of these the last time we were here and I thought it was kind of a fluke, but they may be doing more stuff like this now. $5.87 for these is the regular price. $6.99 is the regular price at Kroger. So $5.11, even $5.87, it's a better deal than Kroger. So I am noticing that Walmart is getting in a lot more pork a lot more pork than we've seen here and I don't know how long. However, a lot of it's pretty expensive here. $5.57 a pound. $5.57 a pound, that seems a little nuts. Uh, $4.54 a pound for the thicker, oh no, these are the thin chops. Wow, I don't know, it's $5.37 a pound for the center cut. I feel like we can find these cheaper pretty much anywhere unless we find one of these deal stickers. Uh, they have the thick chops here, $4.24 uh, a pound, $7.17 for this. I gotta say, these do look pretty good. Walmart's may not be the place to buy Tyson chicken. $5.78 a pound for these boneless, skinless uh, breast portions here. Thin sliced, boneless, skinless chicken breast, $6.22 a pound. That's right. Can you see that? six dollars and 22 cents a pound that is ridiculous price of wings went up too they were 368 a pound now they're 428 uh, we've been finding chicken wings a lot cheaper at some other places so i don't know they got the drumsticks here drumsticks are 262 a pound man prices are just crazy so that price i guess is for the smaller packs because if you get a value pack here they are a dollar 58 a pound so that's a much better deal same goes for the wings though if you buy the bigger pack it is three dollars and 18 cents a pound still too much if you ask me but it's a little cheaper they are running pretty low on some of the denty more canned goods and stuff they have some of the smaller ones here for 223 the bigger ones here like i said the other day 
Uh, we saw these for over $5, still $4.96 here at Walmart. Uh, here are some of the Hormel Complete Meals, which did go from $2.12 to $2.24. So uh, we've been seeing them for $2.69 pretty much everywhere. Meyer, Kroger. We saw here the last time they have com uh, super condensed their spaghetti. Ends here, starts here. So th this used to extend all the way down past the tomato sauce right here. Um, but as you can see, this is all they carry now. Um, and yeah, if they're not getting it in, then I can understand wanting to fill in the space. Um, they do have Barilla Spaghetti, $1.84. $1.84, it's $1.79 at Kroger, so not much more. Uh, 92 cents for the great value one pound spaghetti, though. Uh, we have used this, it's just fine. Uh, it's one of the cheapest that you can find. Um, and you know, it is pretty good. And they do have some of the bow tie and uh, ziti and panay, uh, 92 cents a box, so that's pretty cheap. And we've been getting comments on egg noodles and how they've been going out the door again. Anybody who's been on the channel here for a long time remembers months and months ago where we could not find egg noodles anywhere. Pasta in general was very hard to find, but egg noodles was a real issue. They have some here, but as you can see here, you know, if this was Kroger, they'd have inconvenience stickers here. Because I know they're probably not getting this in. Also wanted to point out that Cremet did go up. These were $1.22 a box. Now they're $1.34. It's like every time we come to a store, especially after a couple weeks, it, the prices are up. If you are having trouble finding ramen noodles, I always say go to Walmart. I know some people's Walmarts, they don't get in as much as this. Um, but I even saw a pallet in the back that had a bunch of cups and some of the uh, single size um, ramen there 287 for a 12 pack uh, we've seen them up over three dollars in a lot of places um, and they do have some of the chow mein uh, that people have asked about here dollar 23 uh, and oh there it is the yakisoba 86 cents a piece that's a pretty good deal we do have the giant I believe this is 64 ounces Yep, 64 ounces. Uh, we've got nothing but good comments on the Great Value Peanut Butter. 64 ounces for $5 these days is a really good deal. Um, they do have a bunch more peanut butters in that they haven't had. They got the uh, Honey Roasted Peanut Butter there by Peter Pan. Got a lot of good comments on that one. They do have a few GIF here. They're not getting in a lot of GIF. Uh, this is probably the least that I've seen. I think they're, they're going to start selling theirs more, and honestly, they should. Uh, Jeff, after the big recall, um, this was 258 here at Walmart. Remember, we were because uh, at Kroger it was 259. Kroger's went up to two, uh, 279, and theirs went up to 276. So, you know, it's like right after a recall, they should they should definitely have some kind of discount on this for all the hassle that went on there. Um, did want to go over a couple of the grape jellies here. Apparently, we've been having issues with grape jelly. Does look like they have some. Uh, yeah, they got a bunch of the Welch's down there. It does look like they've got a pretty decent amount here. There are some stuff missing. I would assume that grape is probably the most popular. Uh, we have gotten a few comments on it, so I did want to take a look at it here at Walmart. It is $2.78 for the big Welch's one down there. Uh, Smuckers for the smaller portion here is $4.24. I think most people like Smuckers. So we see that the Hormel chili here is $2.12. We can get more and more comments on this because of our uh, Southgate chili from Dollar Tree versus Hormel. No comparison. I don't think we got any good comments on the Southgate chili. $2.12 here. We've seen it for $2.09 at Kroger. But they do have some of their other brands here too that we can't find anywhere. Like the Wolf brand chili here. This is pretty good. I, I like this. I don't, probably don't get it as much as I used to. Uh, $2.32. I think I remember paying, like the last time I got this, I think it was like $1.49 a can, but it's been, it's been a long time. So, uh, it is good stuff though. Never tried the great value chili here. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried the great value chili here with beans and if it's any good, $1.38 uh, a can. So we always go over a lot of the different chicken, canned chicken. This is a four pack of the great value chunk chicken breast for $9.98. So if you got two of these, it would be about $20. So six of them at Sam's Club of the members mark is $18.98 now. So you're getting like two extra cans for a dollar. 
Never tried the great value though that I can remember. Also, let me know down in the comments if this is just as good as Members Mark or any of the other ones like Swanson or any of those. Just to point it out real quick for the same 12.5 ounce cans of the Swanson, $3.64 here, $6.67 for the two pack. Uh, we've seen that this has gotten ridiculous at Kroger, $5.49. They still have it at Meyer for $3.49. However, I would take a picture of that at Meyer because they may not have changed the sticker. I can't imagine that Kroger's is selling it for $5.49 and these stickers are correct. Um, but, you know, take a picture of it. They'll, they should give it to you for that price. So we continue to get comments on cooking oils. If you remember the last time we came to Walmart, they were completely empty. Not one. Not even the big ones. They were out of canola and vegetable oil. It does look like they've gotten a load in. $3.47 for the 48 ounce of the canola. $3.27 for the vegetables. So good to see they haven't raised the prices on those. Um, look at this, though. Mazzola. Mazzola has done the same thing as Crisco and has shrunk the size to 40 ounces. And instead of $4.98, $5.12, $5.12. if you notice here, their advertising looks a little more plain. I think that was to keep the price down. So we'll have to keep an eye out for this at some of the other stores. I'm not sure what this was the last time we were here. It is $4.34, but it is 48 ounces. As to where we've seen the 18 packs of these Quaker Oats for $7.99 in stores, at least these are 20 packs. But it is $7.86, which still seems pretty expensive for Walmart. Some of these prices at Walmart seem pretty expensive too on some of the Quaker Oats. Like the Quick Oats and the Old Fashioned are both $5.68 now. This used to be a cheaper place to get them at $4.98. $5.68 is a little pricey. Their oats are $2.48 for the small one here. And I think it's, okay, $3.98 for the big one. So uh, this is in the wrong spot. This is the 42 ounce of the great value here for $3.98. So we've had a few comments on some people not being able to find green tea. Um, one person was specific to hot tea, and I didn't know what the other couple comments. I just wanted to point this out. Uh, they do have the Bigelow green tea at Walmart, $2.98. Uh, and they have some decaffeinated ones. Uh, they got some of the Lipton uh, teas down here. And you know, that's trying to find more green tea. That's really the only green tea I, I'm seeing here. Um, but yeah, they don't really have too many options when it comes to tea, like some of the other stores around here. I think we, we got a comment. Uh, now we remember a few months ago, tea, was very hard to get in uh, a lot of places weren't getting like all the different brands uh even the great value the great value was a big one people were asking about and they weren't coming in a lot of great value products weren't coming in some of this stuff on coffee too you know walmart's really not the best place to buy coffee i feel like it's more expensive here than anywhere else i mean like even their brand i've had their donut shop before i'll tell you what okay so it's better than the members mark donut shop uh, it's a little more stronger than uh, the member's mark. But the last time I got it was $3.98. Now it's $4.78. Like, you're getting as high. Like, I would get the Kroger, the Kroger brand. I believe it's $4.29. Um, and the Kroger Donut Shop is better than both of them. $7.86 for a thing of the Maxwell House. Same size as the one at Kroger. Um... This one right here, this is the Master Blend for $7.42, so a little cheaper. These have been $8.99 uh, at a lot of places. So uh, we saw them for $8.49 at Kroger uh, when they were on sale, but I believe they're back up to $8.99, which is ridiculous. Uh, Folgers here is a little cheaper, $10.32 for the regular price. Um, the nice thing is with Kroger's and Meyer and places, usually they'll have you know, a sale. Haven't seen many sales on Folgers lately, though. Uh, $10.32 here, $11.79 at Kroger, and $10.79 at Meyer. So Kroger seems to be the most expensive. They do have the bigger ones of the classic roast here, 40.3 ounces for $13.92. Last time I was here, uh, somebody left in the comments and asked if I would check out the Great Value Creamers, Coffee Creamers. They are $2.68. I believe you said they were uh, $2.48 and had gone up. Sure enough, they have. Uh, more importantly, they got it in, uh, $2.68 for these. 
they do have the delight creamers in which we also get comments on and i know they're you know they're pretty low everywhere uh, we've gotten a few comments that people haven't been able to find it or at least the regular uh, I guess that's the one most people drink. They do have the caramel macchiato for $5.98. We've got a comment on that one. And the French vanilla, someone couldn't find. The smaller one for $3.52, bigger one for $5.98. Um, and they do have some of the Starbucks creamer, which we also got a comment on. Uh, $5.68 for that seems very high. Okay, so somebody had said that their 60 count eggs went up at Walmart. Ours did too. These were uh, $3.35. And what's funny is that they had gone down for the longest time. Uh, ours was pretty cheap. It was $10.55. And they had gone down from $13 something uh, to $10.55. And then went back up to $13.35. $14.59 now. $14.59. That is crazy. What's funny is that they still have this sign up here when they were keeping everything at a very low price. Due to limited supply and higher than usual demand, our suppliers have increased the price of eggs. Uh, we have worked very hard on behalf of our customers to maintain our current pricing as long as possible. While the current circumstances mean customers may see higher price eggs, we are committed to offering customers the best price possible. $8.32 for two 18 count eggs. We pay for 18 eggs at Kroger is $3.39 right now, which is even up at Kroger in price. But, you know, eggs and dairy, except for milk for us, uh, eggs have really kind of shot up lately. I mean, that makes it $4.16 $4 for an 18 count of eggs. $3.39 at Kroger. So much cheaper at Kroger. So I think they're trying to hide the prices on us here. Look at this. If I can lift this up here. Three dollars and one cent for the twelve count eggs. Now, this is up from two dollars and eighty-three cents the last time we were here. Three oh one. So we've been getting comments on the Chobani yogurt again and how it's skyrocketed in price. It has here too. This was four eighteen, which was up from three ninety-eight. It was three ninety-eight maybe a couple trips ago, maybe so about a month ago. Four thirty-seven now. Some people have been saying that it's been going for four ninety-nine. I believe it's $4.59 at Kroger, so yep, it's definitely going up. They still have the Oikos over here, though, which we got a comment on. Uh, $3.88 for four of these. So Country Croc continues to skyrocket. $5.93, which is up from $4.99, which was the cheapest place to get it. Uh, these were $3.99 a few months ago. And for the bigger family size here, this was $6.49, now up to $7.23. That is ridiculous. But let's check out some of the other butters. Uh, Land O'Lakes. Four sticks of Land O'Lakes butter for $5.48. can almost find this cheaper anywhere. I mean, it's still over $5. I think it's $5.29 at Kroger's, but who knows? That price has probably gone up, too. Uh, they do got the Challenge butter here for uh, $4.97. That's like $5.99 at Kroger, so a little cheaper here on that. I see one. Oh, here it is. Okay, so two sticks of the Kerrygold butter. $4.18, that makes them $2.09 a piece. Uh, this is a two pack. And I'll tell you guys, just everything, everything is getting expensive. So we saw Kroger's four pack of butter go up to $3.99. Walmart's butter went from $3.48 to $3.98 for one four stick pack. And you can get a two pack for $7.48. So a little cheaper, but you know, oh, look at this. Okay, so we've been getting comments on Philadelphia cream cheese, too. At least they have it, right? Uh, some people have been saying they haven't even been able to find it. Uh, is that correct? Wow, $1.96. $2. That's a great deal on one, one thing of it here. Okay. Uh, wait a minute, though. Why? If that's $1.96... Why is a two pack here 448? Why wouldn't I just get two? That don't make sense. I know this ain't bigger. This is two eight eight ounce things of it. Yep, two eight ounce. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, one of them says a dollar ninety four here. That's the great value. Well, okay. I'm not really sure. That is kind of weird. Um, but. You know what? Take a picture of the price because that may be wrong. Uh, probably is actually. So take a picture so you can show them when you go to checkout. 
So we always get some comments on Ice Mountain Spring Water. They are selling the 35 packs here at Walmart for five or six twenty eight, which is up from five ninety eight. Uh, and if you are a Sam's Club member, forty of them is five ninety eight. So you get an extra five and save thirty cents. Okay, so I wanted to check out some of the baby formula. I gotta say they are pretty well stocked on some of the Infamil. A lot of stuff still missing, but you know at least they're getting some in. Uh, they've got the Infamil powder here. $35.83, uh, 29.4 ounces, 0 to 12 months, um, and they do have a lot of Infamil. This is good to see. Okay, so I just noticed that Walmart raised the price on the six packs of the 360 Total Care and the Sensitive Similac, the six packs of them. These were $15.98, right at the same price of pretty much everywhere else. We saw where even Meyer lowered their prices to $15.99 after being at $16.99. Why would Walmart raise their prices on this? I I don't know. It is cheap on the 32 ounce things of the Similac sensitive formula though, $7.23. Uh, this is pretty much $9.99 everywhere else, so that's a little cheaper, but this is confusing. This is I, why I do not see why they would have to raise this price. They do have the Similac NeoSure, which we've gotten some comments on. They do have it here at Walmart, $19.27. Pretty much the same price as it is everywhere. And I'm not really noticing any price jumps on a lot of this, other than the six packs of the Total Care and the Sensitive here. Now, here's a one I haven't seen, the Organic Gentle uh, Babies Only, <laughs> $19.98 for this. And they do have the Gerber Good Start Gentle, uh, let's see... At brand and infant nutrition so if this is one there's no price though no price um, they do have some more of this baby's only organic sensitive toddler formula it's right about the same price as the other ones like Similac are the same size they do have the Gerber good start soy uh, and another okay more importantly they're starting to get more and more in it does seem like like they've added this water here that was never here before they're doing that target trick i guess i almost wish they just wouldn't add that in it just makes it look more full uh and you know for a lot of places they've got a good amount here they don't have to be ashamed of having an open space you know especially when you have a whole end cap of all the same water here it is a dollar did want to do a quick look over the pet food. Does look like they're getting it in. Uh, definitely see more fancy feasts here than we saw the last time. Uh, they got a lot of the packets. So 83 cents for the fancy feast, 90 cents at Kroger, um, 73 cents for the Friskies, 80 cents at Kroger. So um, what I like to see is they have a lot of these multi packs where you can save a couple few dollars if you buy a little bit in bulk. And really, with the way pet food has been flying off the shelves, I would recommend this. As to where it looks like they are pretty low on cat litter. This is more than we saw the last time. It was practically empty. Um, some of the, they, they kind of range in price depending on uh, what the product is. Most of the tidy cats uh, is eleven forty eight for 20 pounds, eleven uh, ninety nine at Kroger. So a little cheaper here, not much. As far as dry dog food, they have definitely gotten more in than they had the last time. There was a lot missing here. Uh, the last time we were here, they got some of the Purina that somebody, some people are asking about. They still got the Beneful. And right here we have um, some cans of dog food. Uh, not as much, but, you know, I don't know. It's funny because we've been seeing more and more uh, canned dog food kind of go out the door lately. You know, they, they always have a lot of the more expensive brands. You know, if we have to do that, we have to. Uh, but they do have some of the Purina One, dollar eighty-eight a can here. Uh, that's cheaper than what it was at Kroger. I believe Kroger's was two nineteen a can, two oh nine. Uh, let's see, some of the Caesar packets here. We've gotten comments on these are a dollar thirty nine a piece at Kroger. Dollar thirty nine a piece. They did go up here. They were a dollar eight, and I think they just went up to a dollar twenty eight. I don't remember anything between there. So, dollar twenty eight for these, cheaper than uh, Kroger, I guess. But yeah, that's. Pretty expensive for Caesar packets. They do. Wow, these went up too. These were $12.98, and they've gone up to $14.98 for 12 of them. Well, guys, that was our trip to Walmart today. I hope I was able to uh, catch a lot of the things that you guys 
have been asking about. I feel like we tackled a lot of them today. Uh, I, you know, I had this planned when I came into Walmart to mostly look for the things that we got a lot of comments on the last time we were at Walmart to check some of those items. Uh, wasn't able to get to everything. Uh, this place is really crowded. I think everybody had the same idea that I had getting here really early to avoid a crowd, which has made a bigger crowd. Kind of weird with the whole health screening thing. I don't know what was going up in the produce section, uh, but there was a line of people. It's probably something for free. And uh, <laughs> but the uh, the fight that broke out is more of a yelling. It looked like looked like somebody swung on somebody. I wasn't going to get in the middle of that. Uh, there was a security guard who came by and took care of it. So, um, but yeah, you know, for the most part, things every a lot of things seem to have gone up in price here at Walmart again two weeks later. So, you know, we'll be back in another couple weeks to check things out. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.